Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sonali, if you guys didn't already know me. And today is Thanksgiving, and I wanted to say Happy Thanksgiving to all of you. I'm really thankful for everyone who watches me, who subscribes, who follows me. I just really wanna say how appreciative I am for you guys taking the time to watch my videos. And we're so close to 10,000 subscribers, and that is insane to me. And I wanna hit it before winter break, so let's see if we can do that. Today I'm gonna to be doing a little review on this foundation right here. It's the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. I'm gonna tell you guys what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and all that. And I have some other L'Oreal products to show you guys too. This video is not sponsored, but there was like a sale at Ulta when I went. So I just picked up a few things from L'Oreal and I wanted to show you guys some new products. So let's get on to the video. First, we're gonna start off with primer. I'm using the Elizabeth Arden Flawless Start Instant Perfecting Primer. And I'm honestly just using this because I ran out of my poor fashional primer. I don't really see like a big difference. So I actually have two wet beauty blenders to use today because I'm going to use one for my foundation and one for my concealer. I just like to do it that way because there's a big difference from the color of my concealer and foundation. Just because I like a more highlighted look, but obviously you can use the same beauty blender, maybe you use the side and then the side for foundation. So today I'm gonna to be using the infamous L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. I'm so happy to finally be trying this because I've been contemplating buying it for about like six months. And I was just like in Ulta and I was like, you know what? Why not? This is the color Classic Tan, and I'm not gonna lie, it does look orange on me right when I put it on. But after I do like the highlighting and bronzing, it looks so good and it actually matches with my neck, which the other stick foundation didn't anymore because it just looked too light on my face. So it is probably good for me to like be matching because that's what we all want. So it's 109 Classic Tan for everyone who is wondering. This foundation was about, I think, $12.99 if I'm not mistaken, and I just thought that foundations at the drugstore were gonna be cheaper. I'm pretty sure this is like my first ever drugstore foundation other than the BB cream from Maybelline because that doesn't really count. But yeah, so this is like my first ever and I just thought they were gonna be like under 10, but people are raising their prices, I guess. So I'm just gonna put dots all over and then just blend it out. Also, please bear with me for the lighting because I did not bring my diva ring light on the plane home for like a week. So um, I'm just using natural light and I forgot how like changing it is every second and it's so annoying, but just bear with me because I will be bringing my ring light home for a December break. I did want to tell you guys that this foundation is a bit drying and I already do have really dry skin. You guys are probably like, why did she buy matte if she's already dry? Well, I like matte products because I feel like I always get oily even with the matte products. Um, so if I didn't, if I use like dewy products, then I don't even want to know what that would look like by the end of the day. After I put my foundation on, I can really feel the dryness all around here. Um, so what I do is just put lotion on it, like a light layer of lotion, and then I can go about my day and it feels perfectly fine. So if you guys are having that problem, I do recommend that trick because it's worked for me. And the first layer sometimes is very light because I don't think I put enough on my face, so I just go in for a second layer usually. Look how freaking orange I am, but I swear it like matches in the end, okay? <laughs> it's kind of weird going from like stick foundation to liquid foundation. I don't know, but it's kind of fun like getting back into liquid foundations because it's like the real OG, you know? L'Oreal was actually having a sale, buy two, get one free, but I'm going to include them in this whole video because why not? Don't be scared. I know I look like an Oompa Loompa. Now I'm just going to put on my concealer and it'll be all good. So I'm going to kind of do what I did in the Ofer video and basically use just the products I recently got because I don't want to do a repetitive routine every single time. Now I'm going to be using this pencil eyeliner from L'Oreal. It's called Silk Kissimmee, I think, and it's basically like a gel eyeliner in a stick form because it slides on so nice. So basically what I like to do with this is to put a very, very small 
thin line on my upper lash line and then I blend it out and it makes the most beautiful black smoky eye ever. You're going to want to use a little stubby brush to blend the eyeliner out afterwards just like this one. This is from It Cosmetics. I literally use this brush every single day because it's a dual brush and it has this fluffy side and I literally can't do my eyeshadow without it. I'm going to try to make the thinnest line possible and you don't have to draw the whole thing at once definitely do small strokes and it doesn't have to be perfect because we are going to be blending it out so don't worry about that now time to blend it out i would say act fast because it will dry up on you so maybe do one eye at a time and then blend it that's my mistake then i go back in with a very dark brown and put it all over the black that we just blended out this helps it set a little bit and just blends it out a little bit more because I know there's still harsh lines on my eye. All you have to do is put on mascara and your eyes are good to go. I'm going to bronze up my face with this Makeup Forever eyeshadow really quick. And then I'm going to be moving on to blush. Moving on to the blush I got from L'Oreal. It's in the color Soft Sun. And it is like one of the darkest blushes. I know it doesn't really look dark on there. It kind of just complements my contour. I don't really like like a very pink blush, but I like it to be peachy and complement my skin color. Just wanted to do a really quick update on the foundation. This is more than 12 hours with the foundation on and it still looks really good. Um, obviously it's not as orange as when I first put it on. Um, and there's not like any wearing off of the foundation so I really do recommend this foundation for you guys if you guys are looking for a cheap drugstore foundation so I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one bye guys